Think resource wars are old news? History is filled with battles fought over oil, gold and land, conflicts that shaped nations and redrew borders. But while the headlines may have faded, the struggle for resources never really ended. It's just evolved, shifting to new arenas and taking on new forms. Today, those wars are just getting started, on a whole new frontier. The battlegrounds are no longer just deserts and forests, but the most remote and extreme places on, and even beyond, our planet. In the Arctic, as the ice melts at unprecedented rates, vast reserves of oil, gas, and rare minerals are being exposed for the first time. This is drawing powerful nations northward, sending fleets of icebreakers, research vessels, and even military patrols to stake their claims in this frozen gold rush. Beneath the waves, a new race is underway. Countries are investing billions in deep-sea mining technology, hoping to extract cobalt, nickel, and other metals essential for electric vehicles, renewable energy, and the AI revolution. The ocean floor is becoming the next contested territory, but the competition doesn't stop at Earth's surface. Now, the same rivalry is heading to space, where the stakes and the rewards are even higher. On the moon, frozen water is more than just a life support resource for astronauts. It can be split into hydrogen and oxygen, creating rocket fuel and breathable air, essentials for survival and for launching missions deeper into the solar system. Lunar ice could be the key to building permanent colonies and fueling the next era of exploration. Whoever controls the moon's ice reserves could control the gateway to the stars, setting the rules for humanity's expansion beyond Earth. The race for lunar resources is already underway, with nations and private companies planning missions to claim their share. We didn't stop fighting over Earth's resources. The scars of extraction are visible everywhere, from open pit mines to oil fields and devastated forests. Our hunger for resources has only grown. Now, we've just expanded the battlefield, reaching from the depths of our oceans to the icy craters of the moon, and perhaps one day even further into the cosmos.